Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mini Metro. This time it looks like we will be tackling New York City. So this looks to be a fairly interesting river option. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, and already we have to use a bridge, so we've got three bridges, we've got three trains, so I think that's pretty obvious what we've got to do. I've just had an afternoon nap, so I'm a little sleepy, so I'm not expecting to do as well as I did before. I'm just apologize for a second while I turn my sound on. I think I'm going to do another tr different line from here. I'm not actually sure what's going to happen. But um, again, at the same time, I'm not sure if that was quite a good idea either because uh, we've already got like a square that's one stop to a circle and then a, and it's already another one stop to a circle. So maybe when the lines get a bit more crowded, it will be a bit more significant. But for the time being, not so sure quite yet. So we're not going to worry too much about it for it. So I've been I've been thinking. Um, so far, it sort of just seems seems very straightforward in concept, but uh, I think sort of possibility for extension. It's it's like once you've gotten used to it for a bit, it's a little slow to begin with at the start. And I'm just hoping maybe there might be a fast forward button sometime in the future, but that's not something I've sort of wholly investigated or like really checked out. So. We're already noticing a bit of congestion in the triangles here in the middle, but that seems to be really be pretty much under control for the most part, so I'm not too particularly worried. However, if worse comes to worse, then maybe we might might hook the green line onto one of the triangle stations. It's, um, I wonder what's going to happen next. So I've still got one more train, one more line, and two bridges, so... We just got a circle pop up here. I'm actually thinking of creating another line and another bridge. So let's see. Yeah, let's do that. And maybe I'll hook that to the triangle. Um, I might actually link this to the square and into the triangle again. But again, it's kind of just we're just gonna see what happens. So here now we've got this link into a triangle. So. Okay, so it looks like all lines can accept uh, can access a triangle station, so not to worry for now. Got a new locomotive, yes please. Which asset would I like for my metro? Um, I think going for the lines first is probably the easiest. Because, um... Yeah, because an additional carriage is like an additional train at the moment, and it's sort of, it's, at the moment it's still a bit hard to judge, like, as uh, to whatever is going on. It's just, not just, uh, right. Okay, we've got a... Now, it looks like I might want to aim for a loop, so I might want to do this, which I think is a pretty good idea. Because um, ever since I could sort of just realize that you could do loops in. Okay, so we've got a circle, and uh, I think we'll just extend the loop to that, which should, shouldn't be too difficult for the time being. So, but it does mean now that the green light might be a little overburdened, so we will probably have to add another line. If another station appears on this right side, then that's the, when we'll. What do you know? So we're going to add a new line to this central hub and link it through so that um, so that some of the stations don't get overburdened. I think I've sort of been trying to pick, I'm still sort of a bit stuck on like what might be the best way to sort of create a central hub. Like for example, this circle station in the middle to have all the lines going through. Um, I still haven't quite figured out like what's the best way to go about doing it. So it's, um, yeah, something you're still thinking about and maybe I'll probably try a few things in um, future. All right, so this is getting a bit overburdened. That's only because there's only one square station in which I, only the red line can take care of. So that might be a problem. So what I'm gonna do is link the blue to here. All right, how many bridges we've got? We've got zero. This is going to be a problem. All right, so I'm going to pause for a second and think about what I want to do here. Um, okay, I'm going to have to release this one. 
and uh, okay and I'm gonna have to link this red one over and I'm going to have to hmm yeah I'll just link this pink one over so that so that the the pink train has a bit more to do okay so yay resource management okay so this square is definitely gonna be a bit of a problem but it looks like our red train station is just taking care of it we're definitely a bit limited on reach on breaches at the moment so it would be really nice to get um yes we'll take some extra breaches please all right so i think what i'm gonna do is get this red red one to a loop we'll get this to loop around and hopefully that will make move that will that will make things moving around a bit more easier um hopefully a few more stations pop up here in this blank space on the right so hopefully i can start looping the blues blue station around and then we'll, we'll think about something to do with this magenta magenta line eventually um but so far i've got one extra bridge one extra i've got one extra locomotive so maybe i will put that on the red line to uh yep to facilitate a bit more moving around um We'll definitely need to um, ex we'll definitely need an extra train on the green line, so hopefully that would go well. Um, alrighty, so I put a circle station up there. The other thing I'm trying to do is not. Um, okay, no, that's probably not the smartest thing to do. So here, because I need to move the red line up, I would do just that. And uh, no, I don't think I want to do that just yet. So, uh, maybe, maybe I'll move the blue line here. Okay. So, we're still having a bit of, um, like, like, say, a bit of congestion problem. So, it's definitely something I need to keep an eye on. I don't have an extra train line at the moment. So, um, yeah, this red line could be, could start to be a bit of a problem. But, so far, it doesn't look like it we've got anything to worry about looks like we've got enough more than 200 so that's sort of like the baseline um yeah pretty much like the baseline requirement baseline achievement um no what i'm trying to say is oh god i can't remember the name landmark no milestone that's it and then hopefully we can break 1000 like like in the last video but so far it doesn't look like to be anything to be worried about so just gonna see what happens. Um, make sure, okay, locomotive. Do I want a carriage or do I want a bridge? Um, I don't really need the bridges now, but when I get when I get some more new lines, I would definitely like the bridges. So I have a feeling that the carriage is probably best, but it's still a bit hard to say. So I think I think we'll go with the carriage and we'll attach this to the green one. Even though we may not particularly need it at this at this absolute moment. Alright, so I'm gonna delink this. I'm gonna pause this for a second so that the the whole the whole line doesn't break out on me. So um Alright, I've got one breach, so I'm gonna extend this purple one over here. And maybe Okay, that gives the magenta line a bit, some bit more work to do. So, so far it's looking pretty good, but already I can see things are going to start becoming a problem. So, what's going to happen is that I've got an extra train, and maybe I will want to put it. I've got an extra carriage to the green. I've got two on the red. I will definitely be extending the blue line. So. And since and since I will get a new line with um since I'll get a new locomotive with every new line, I don't need to worry too much about saving some of them for Yeah, I don't need to worry too much about saving saving for other lines, so I'm not gonna be too fussed about that for the time being, but certainly it's um gonna be my like a point of contention really. So I feel like 
so this blue, this blue one, I'm hoping to sort of loop around and sort of reattach up to the end here. And then, um, the, the, but I can definitely see there's going to be a bit of, a bit of trouble. Wow. Um, okay, I'm going to link this up here. That's probably the best option. Or at least my most intuitive option. Uh, you know what? Let me just lock this thing here so we can actually see what's happening all the time instead of me having to actually pop my mouse down there. Alrighty, so we're getting a bit of congestion here. And now this is where I need to stop and think for a bit. Okay, so this part seems to be fine. I'm not sure how to deal with this station, but um, I have a feeling... Hmm. I would do link. No, that's not how I want to do it. And then, what, what do I want to do with, you know, link this here? Alrighty. The, there's definitely some concern to be had for, like, the distance that these trains are travelling, because, um, you know, it's certainly a bit long, but... I mean, the one advantage is that these are all circle stations, so it's like once one train comes to a circle station, it's enough to deposit, and then we know that it won't, like, be stuck moving things to another circle station. So here, we're going to get a new train and a new line. I think it's probably best to max out on the lines first, but, um... Yeah, I still haven't quite figured out that just yet. So, okay, so here's going to be a bit of a problem. I think what we would like is sort of a, just a line that's at, at outside the central area. And sort of just links around the back. So we'll do just that and that will hopefully reduce some of the, some, some potential troubles that we'll have around here. Um... And then maybe similarly when we get another line we'll do one around here and that should so, so that should hopefully solve a few things so okay so we've got a square up here we don't have any bridges so i'm i'm gonna tentatively link the blue one to actually no um no that's not a good idea hold on stay cool stay cool all right i'm gonna link this green up to this square up to this circle and then back to this triangle. All right. All right. Hopefully, we'll get a couple of bridges next, so we can link the blue line back to the magenta, and then we'll have a nice loop sort of going through. I think I've sort of just inadvertently realised that I'm sort of just trying to generate loop structures. Like here, I've got the red one going. Here I've got the orange one going, here I've got the green one going, and then the blue I, I'm handling the middle right, and then sort of the magenta is like the whole way through, so... Okay, so the blue line's definitely going to be a bit burdened a little, so I'm going to link this back to the triangle here. When we get the next bridge, we'll link the blue back to the square here, and hopefully we should get something going fairly soon. I have a feeling I'm going to have to link the green station to to this circle in here because it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I, hmm. But um, the main concern is that the green station is, the, sort of the green line is definitely sort of a bit stuck in its own end as well, so it's a bit hard to... Yeah, this is going to be a problem. New locomotive, um, interchange. Oh boy, um, really could use a bridge. But with the, I think I'm gonna go for a carriage and, um, I'm going to go f at one for the blue so that, wow, really? Okay. Okay, I don't have any bridges, so with that, I think, since I've got a new carriage, how many do I've got on blue at the moment? I've only got one, so I'm going to add another blue locomotive to that. That will hopefully help with some of the transport issues. So, so far it's looking pretty good in my opinion, so, uh, just 
sort of just taking a look around, I've got, oh dear, I missed this station over here, so I'm just like the orange one here, and uh, I'm going to link the red one here as well. Okay, now this is where things are going to start becoming a pain in the ass, so it's like, okay, I've got green up here, and then I need to... this back here no okay yeah I, okay so it can't link back to what is it um, I still haven't quite fleshed out the details just yet so so um, which is kind of a pickle so just link this here Cars, and I'll just link this here. Alright. Not feeling very comfortable now, but um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We really could use some bridges, so that would definitely make life a lot easier. Um, Alright. Oh boy, you like making life difficult for me, don't you? Alrighty, so, so far so good. I'm trying to think about what I should do next. Again, I still want to link this blue and this magenta all the way through. So, bridges are definitely a priority. Um... Yeah, this is getting interesting. This is getting interesting. Um, this this be a problem? No, it doesn't look like it just yet. Um, oh my god, really? I... Uh, I... Um, okay, I'm trying to figure out what I should do here, so... Now, now I see where they, where they make things a bit harder, so the purple, I'm gonna, I have to use a bridge here, so I definitely have to replace the bridge here, okay, there's not much I can do about it. Um, the purple, do I do it with the purple or with the blue? I think with the, I think I'll do it with the magenta because there are less stations. The blue is definitely a bit overburdened even though it's got two characters, so I don't think it's quite wise and to do that just yet so it's alrighty okay I'm this this is gonna be a problem um I'm what I'm gonna do is can I do this and then um the problem is there's a blue carriage there with blue carriage there and hopefully the green will come to relieve that soon so, but I'm really hoping Sunday will turn, come come around so that um, I can have a bit more resources. Yay, you evolved to a star, which is, you know, I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> okay, so, okay, please stay alive for a bit, a bit longer, new locomotive. Okay, I need... Improve stasis capacity and transfer speed. We'll go with that. I'll pause that. Do I do it for this one? Yeah, it seems like a stopgap measure at the moment, but it's not much I can do. So I think the green is... The question is, do I put this carriage on the magenta or do I put it on the green or do I put it on the blue? I think um, I'll do it for the green. And then we'll see how that goes. Ready. Pretty please. Alrighty, so Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to fix this one, but um Ready, so Circle. 
Okay, I guess I'm trying to figure out where I might have gone wrong. So I think what I, can, what I definitely can do is no, this part was already fairly overburdened. So maybe I might try Link to the Moon. And hopefully um, something will come along. This blue is definitely going to be a problem because it's very, very overburdened. So, oh my goodness. Okay, that's dealt with for the time being, but what about this? Okay, uh, I also need to deal with this one. And I'll just link this tree as well. Oh boy. Ever, this is stressful. <laughs> well, not all that stressful, but it's like I, it's like you have to pay attention to so many different things at once that it's just you just see all these blips going on. So, and you're wondering, oh my god, what do I do? What can I do? And it just feels like sometimes you can't you can't do anything. So, so what we'll do? Alrighty, so... Yeah, I've got a bit... I, yeah, I think... That one turn where... That one week where I skipped the bridges, I should've taken the bridges. I think it's a bit hard for me to tell... When, where and why I should take bridges, so... This station will obviously be our demise. But in the least, we've broken a thousand, so I think that's... I think that's actually a fairly good... Um, I think that's actually a fairly good achievement, so... Yeah, with that, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm, I'm a bit bummed by the bridges not coming up, but I wonder if, like, the upgrades you get at the end of every week are the same, like, every time you play it. So there will be something for me to figure out in future. But nevertheless, it's still fun. It's still a very nice, easy strategy game to play. And um, certain, certainly hope you give it a try for yourself. So with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.